This is a Breville BES 900 XL dual boiler espresso machine and this video is all about the sealing methods used by Breville for the coffee and for the brew and steam boilers. It's uh, intended to help anyone else that's trying to diagnose a leak which is uh, or doing any other work on these boilers for that matter. Uh, I did in fact have a leak coming out of this port right here which is from the steam boiler feeds into the the brew boiler and you can still see I had some uh, residue calcium build up there from from it sputtering out so that's what led me down this path uh, as a result of that I had to replace some gaskets and, and spent some time going through the rest of the ports to understand uh, what the sealing solution looks like and, and see if there's any other areas where uh, I should be swapping out gaskets with newer ones so if you're in the having the same trouble hopefully this video will help you out there are essentially two different approaches that Breville has taken to seal the probes and hoses onto these uh, boilers. And the reason for the two different approaches is two different sizes of ports. The larger ports are for the probes. You'll see three here, one, two, and three on the steam boiler and two here on the brew boiler. I have pulled this one out to show you what it looks like. That guy's over here. That's what the water level probe looks like with the O-ring installed. This is the O-ring uh, and it has the larger clip. So in contrast, I'll just grab out the other common O-ring that they use is this little orange guy off my finger and a smaller clip for the hose connections so all the high pressure hoses are done through this orange one and that clip all the temperature pro all the uh, water level probes are done through this larger uh, blue o-ring and the larger clip though i will mention on my machine this probe right here came with uh, an orange gasket exact same dimensions as the blue gasket just appeared possibly a different material that's why i assume it's a different color i uh, don't know why they would have done that these probes serve the same purpose uh, I'm gathering it was just the part that they grabbed off the production line. Maybe they had two different runs, two slightly different materials at that time. Okay, so so you have two different sizes. That's the larger one for the probe. The smaller one is for all the high pressure hoses. And this is a, a very common feature, a common sealing solution on this machine. Most of the hose lines, all of the hose lines, in fact, that are this white Teflon high pressure hose uh, use this sealing solution or some variant of it. There's, there's actually four variants that I'll cover on how these seal, uh, which is why really why I'm making this video, because there's some, it's kind of confusing when you start getting into the different ports. Uh, even though they're all high pressure hoses, uh, based on what they do, they have a slightly different stack up of parts. This is the most common. So this is just that orange O-ring, uh, this little guy over here, that's installed on the end of the hose. The brass fitting here is, is uh, pressed on with that little nipple in there. So there's some structural support to press it onto. Uh, and that's the most common sealing solution within this unit. <coughs> they have also opted to add a washer in a few locations. Uh, you can see it shown there. And this little guy, you have to be extremely careful when you're pulling these hoses out because you don't know which ones have the washer. I mean, I, I have, on this machine I know, I don't know if that was a standard, if it's the same on all of them. These two ports have the washer. Uh, this little port has a washer. This little port has a washer, I believe, if I remember. Uh, OPV, that definitely has a washer in it. I think they just did that to increase the, it must be to increase that access to the pressure essentially on that O-ring. Now there's one big exception that I came across in this unit, which is really the one that caused me all the grief. <coughs> it was on these two ports right here. So this is the feeder line right off the main pump that goes through the little heat exchanger that they built into the steam boiler to preheat the water before it goes into your brew boiler. Now, so these two right here, and it's only on these two, it's not even on this one, just the two that have this boot. The way this machine came, they had two slightly different O-rings installed instead of this, this orange one that I've got shown in the picture. I'm just going to contrast those two with what the, the common orange O-ring looks like. So these two guys you can see have uh, much thinner walls. Outside diameter is more or less the same. Inside diameter is, is much larger on these two. They're a little bit thinner. And you can see in this video here that they're, they're both cracked and they haven't worn well. They haven't aged well. Uh, this is a new sort of donut style one that they use all over the place. So what I did was uh, on this connection, the, the both of them actually, the two that have the boots, I just got rid of these old, the, the thinner O-rings, put one of these thicker ones on it's actually a tight squeeze into the into these ports 
I uh, did it for both of them, replaced the double gasket solution with a single, but it works great. Uh, and actually I'm way more comfortable with that solution rather than having those two gaskets stacked up on top of each other. So that's, that's it for the four different variants that they've used on all these boiler ports. So you either have the large, the large temperature probe solution with the blue or, or possibly large orange O-ring. You have the most common, which is the uh, high pressure hose with just an orange gasket. You have the high pressure hose with the orange gasket and the gasket and the O-ring. And you have a high pressure hose in, in these two instances that had the double, different sized double orange O-ring with the, uh, the washer as well. Uh, hopefully that helps if you're having to get into this machine to this extent and you're trying to figure out uh, just what parts go where or what replacement parts you need. Uh, and, and really worth noting that that common orange gasket does work really nicely in these two locations and will hold the pressure. I've ran many, many shots through it, including uh, testing the pump at a very high pressure, uh, almost full pressure, and it didn't have an issue. I've got a couple other videos, a few other videos in fact. Uh, if you're interested, I've got a descaling video on this machine. Did a video on how to replace a solenoid valve. Uh, same video has the uh, OPV adjustment explained. And I did a video on how to verify your pressure gauge, how you can modify the Breville portafilter so you can attach a, a regular, it's called a hardware store pressure gauge to it to verify that you're getting the correct reading off this gauge. And that video also includes how to replace this gauge. Uh, if you happen to watch it, something you, I hope you never have to do. Really difficult task to do to replace a gauge on this machine. All right, uh, good luck with your, uh, your troubleshooting and thanks for watching.